We are talking two-sided marketplaces. Obviously, it's so easy to see that technology can solve a lot of problems by connecting two sides of a marketplace, making it so that people with a resource can find people that need that resource. When thinking about customer acquisition for a two-sided marketplace, focus on density. If this marketplace requires physical in-person interaction, you're going to also need to narrow down to a specific location. If it does not require physical interaction, then you just need to narrow down to specialties and specific use cases. What I see a lot happen in two-sided marketplaces is, well, everyone could benefit from this. There's all these different use cases. So let me spray and pray on this side and spray and pray on this side. Try to cover as many categories as possible. Um, whoever can use it can use it. The problem with that is that you have a lot of different categories, but you don't have a lot of depth and quality. Quality. So rather what you need to do when designing a two-sided marketplace is be very, very, very specific about the one or two use cases you are accommodating early on. One of my uh, former clients, she uh, owns the company Hopin. Hopin is a job shadowing marketplace allowing people who are thinking about making job changes to spend a day shadowing someone else. In the first prototype of her product, at about 21 hosts in New York City, they just wanted to get these matches between hosts and shadowers to find out the quality of the experience and also understand what the users were really looking for. Billy and Luke were able to say, okay, here were our initial 21 hosts. If we're going to grow to 35, 50 hosts and try to increase the number of experiences, let's be super specific about which types of hosts we recruit. They surveyed their existing audience found the top three types of hosts people were interested in, and then they were able to strategically recruit hosts in those categories. I was talking to a founder, I reviewed his startup for due diligence on behalf of investors, and they have been in business for four years. That inflection point of having enough on both sides of the marketplace, they're just hitting it. So again, it's really not very easy to do customer acquisition, let alone customer acquisition on both sides. So you're going to have to really continue to balance like the scales, and I'm a Libra so I know the scales, like the scales, get a little bit on this side, go get more on this side, get a little bit more on this side, get a little more, more on that side. The conclusion is Start by being very specific about the one or two use cases you're going to support and then recruit only those people on each side. Other people may find you in the early days, but you want to be strategic about your efforts when looking to match people. I would encourage you to look at some of the other questions that I have answered on the internet. Uh, go to my YouTube channel, look for the playlist, Lindsay Answers Questions on the Internet. And if you don't see the question, email me at hi at Lindsay T. Can you see that? Yep. Yeah. There we go. Cool, email me and ask me a question. I'd be happy to answer it here or answer it privately. Talk to you soon, bye.